when you are a businesswoman, you can do what you want to do. But Khadija remained Catholic. Ibn Walaka died as a Catholic. So they didn't become a Muslim. That means they gave the revelation from the Torah and from the Zabur. I can tell you multiple examples, multiple examples that has been taken out from the Bible and has been replaced in the Quran. That means the Quran has been copied from the Bible. End of story. End of story. Take out your Quran. Take out your Quran. I have one question. So, yeah, when did Walaqa ibn Nawfal die? Sorry? When did Walaqa ibn Nawfal go read the story that you're talking about die? I don't know. When was the Quran completely revealed? The Quran, I'll tell you. He died before okay. even... No, no let me ask you a question, sir. Let me ask you, no, no, are you Muslim? I am Muslim. Okay, don't go on. I am not here to debate you. Okay. He died early on, before okay. even the start. Okay. The how long Muhammad was a prophet? How long Muhammad was a prophet? Around 20 years. Huh? 20 more. 20, how, how long? He started his, uh, his revelation around 40. Do you know there was two times in the time of Muhammad, Mecca and Medina? Yeah, yeah. So let me give you an example. Muhammad reigned. Where Muhammad, are you from? I'm, I'm from North, North Iraq. Yeah, I'm from. I'm Kurdish. I'm Kurdish Sunni. Yeah. You're Kurdish. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm Kurdish Sunni. Muhammad Rain was a prophet for 23 years. 13 years in Mecca, 10 years in Medina. The Adab 23. Yeah. In a year of five, they got the satanic verses: Lat, Usa, and Manat. And Allah wait the eight years. Allah. The thought of Allah. Allah. No hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. It is. I can show you. No, no, take out your Quran. Take out your Quran. I can. I give you my. I give you my back. My mobile. I trust you. I can give you my mobile. Here my mobile. Take out your Quran and read it to me. No, no I'm not so, here to debate. The, I, so why, if you're I'm not, not here, here to debate? To debate the no, Quran. sir, sir, because sir. I believe that the Quran sir. is infallible. Okay, okay. So Thank you very much. Thank that. you very much. Let's debate so, okay. the Quran. Okay, okay. okay. Let, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Does Allah all now? Yes, He's all now. All now. Yeah. Okay. What about Surah Al Maida, Ayah 116? Hold on, I'm not finished yet. In Surah Al Maida, Ayah 116, chapter chapter Al Maida, Verse 116. Clearly, Allah said to Jesus, Oh Jesus, did you tell the people, your people, that they must worship you and Mary beside me? That's your interpretation. No, it's not my interpretation. I need it in Arabic. Oh, oh well, I know, I know, I know. But let me tell you something. We are now enough that this verse clearly said, Oh Jesus, did you tell your people that they must worship you and Mary beside God, beside me? He didn't say beside me, beside God. That means there was the Christian. The Christian, the Catholic, even today, the Catholic, I challenge every Catholic. Saying, oh, ha ha Habibi, Habibi, Catholic. Habibi, Habibi, Habibi. No, 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 Habibi. He, yeah, even Waraka was a Catholic monk. Even Waraka was a Catholic monk. You don't know, I know. He was an Orthodox. Well, I, there was I, no I, there was, he, he was a Catholic, even Waraka. Habibi, even Waraka was a Catholic monk. Whether no, no, you like no, it or no. no. Khadija, Khadija was a Catholic. Catholic today, the Catholic Church, Catholic people. The Catholic, the Pope. The Pope. He, he lives where? The Pope. The Pope the How did, what did the, what is the religion? The Pope live? Habibi. He, he lives in Rome. Habibi. Yes. Habibi. Okay. Religion of Islam starts 1,000, 1,500 years. 500, five centuries. Six centuries. Listen, 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 please. Please, please. Six centuries after Jesus Christ, Muhammad reigned. Six centuries. 600 years later, Muhammad reigned in Arabia, today's Palestine and Jerusalem, in the city of Mecca and Medina. My question to you. Your Ahmad Didad, your Zakir Nayak, boldly claim and challenge every single Muslim Christian that yeah. they cannot win the argument with them because they believe that the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, the Parakletos in, Hebrew, in Greek, is Muhammad. My question to you, was Muhammad in the life of Peter, James and John in 1,500 years ago? The mic is yours, sir. Of course he was not. He was, thank you very much. So how can Muhammad be the comfort of the Holy Spirit while Muhammad was not in Peter, James and John? Hold on, I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished yet. How can Muhammad be a comforter when he was not in the life of Peter, James and John? Because in the day of Pentecost, after Jesus, before his, his ascension to heaven, in the day of Pentecost means 50. At the 50 days on earth after the resurrection, then the disciple Peter, James and John and other 500 plus, they got the revelation, the, 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 the ascension of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. All, all of them, they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. They prophesy in tongue. Everybody speaks their own language. My question to you and to Ahmad Dida and Zakina, I challenge them. I challenge them one by one. Was Muhammad is in me right now? Did Muhammad came in the name of Jesus? Because the Jesus Christ said in the Job Gospel of John chapter 14, verse 26, I believe, or 16, he said, and I will praise the Father, and he shall give you answer comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of truth who proceed from the Father. The world cannot see him, the world cannot receive him because they cannot see him. But hold on, 1,500 years ago, people have seen Muhammad. 
was the was the body like me and you. I Muhammad, hold on, Habibi, Habibi, Habibi. Muhammad was not the comforter. Therefore, Muhammad, Muhammad was not the comforter. Therefore, your Quran is false. Ahmad Didat is false. Zakir Nag is, is false. You're always mentioning Ahmad Didat and Zakir Naik. Because that's that's your hero. That's your hero. That's like Paul. Go on, sir. Spirit. I'm, I'm Amen. Amen. Okay. 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 You receive power when the Holy Spirit comes. Acts chapter two, verse one to four. And that's that's true in my. So are you asking me a question or are you telling the people? Yeah, just Thank you very much. Let's maybe let me make something more clear. The baptism of the Holy Spirit is not scriptural. The baptism of the Holy Spirit, I challenge you. Take out the, the Bible. Show me one verse. Talk about the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Hold on. I'm an ex-Muslim, sir. Let me ask you a question. Sir, I, I, I learned the Bible and take the word of God seriously. Over the word of man, with my due respect, you may have the kind of experience after your baptism, and that's absolutely fine. But I'm saying the phrase. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not discrediting you. The phrase, sir. I'm saying. The, I beg my prayer. I, I correct my. The phrase. Yeah. The phrase of the baptism of the Holy Spirit is not in the Bible. Hold on. But you may have the experience after your baptism. That doesn't mean the baptism will save you because the criminal on the on next to Jesus, he was not baptized. He never been to church. He didn't have the sinner's prayer. The sinner's prayer had nothing to do with the Bible. He had no sinner's prayer, but he recognized Jesus because on the cross, that's Jesus who said, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they do. This Jesus was different. No criminal ever, ever acted like Jesus. That's why the centurion, he cried out, Truly, truly, most assuredly, this was the Son of God because they crucified, sir, they crucified multiple, multiple criminals every day on the cross and none of them acted like Jesus. All of them mocked the Roman, all of them defiled and got angry and got angry with the Roman. But this Jesus, he cried out, Father, forgive them. First, they don't know what they do. And that's why the criminal turned to Jesus. He said, remember me. He said, if you are a king, you must have a kingdom. Remember me when you come into your kingdom. He didn't say tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. He said, son, today thou shalt be in paradise with me. So on that cross of Calvary, not only is the, the attitude of man, but the attitude of the criminal, the attitude of the Roman soldier were divided. Why do I say that? Because Psalm 22, my God, my God, Eli, Eli, Damatabatakani, when Jesus Christ quoted, our Muslim friend, our, the critical who come to the Bible, they don't know why you cry out, my God, my God, Eli, Eli, Lama Tabatakani, by quoting chapter 22, verse 1. That chapter 22 of Psalm is the good shepherd. As the good shepherd, he laid down his life for the sheep. He became a suffering servant. In Psalm 23, he's the great shepherd. In Psalm 24, he's the chief shepherd. He's going to come back to give us the crown of glory, the crown of righteousness, the crown of rejoicing, the crown of life, the incorruptible crown, the crown of protection, the crown of separation. That's what Jesus cried as the chief shepherd, as the great shepherd. He is guiding us right now through the power of the Holy Spirit. He is praying for us in heaven. So my question to you, my friend, when I became a believer, I was baptized, full immersion, okay? And after that, that was not, the water was not holy. The water was just a normal water. But you saw, it was my public declaration that publicly now I confess that I am dead with Jesus and I've been rose again. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So your experience may be different from my experience. We all have different experience. What is interesting to me is how my brother, brother and sister Muslims, who I do see as under the influence of the Holy Spirit, there's a lot of truth. The Spirit leads into all truth. I don't see Islam as wrong. I do think that the Holy Spirit um, uh, leads us to respect other people and to see good in them and truth in them. But my own my own experience of the Holy Spirit um, was was an entering into a fullness of Christian of love for Christ. Um, so I'm, and I, I'm not I'm not I'm not arguing with you at all because I think you, what your your experience is fantastic. You're, you're here sharing, but but, but I, I'm interested in how Muslims see see Muhammad, blessed be his name, as the sir. Yeah, sir, so let's come back to the Quran. Any Muslim? Surah Al Hajj, chapter 22, verse 6 and 7. Clearly, Allah said, I am the truth. Okay? I am the truth. And I, in the last day, I am the one who is going to resurrect it. And uh, when the hour will come, the hour will come that the death from the grave shall come forward. Okay, let's compare that Quran, chapter, chapter 22, Surah Al Hajj, chapter 22, verse 6 and 7.
Okay? Clearly, Allah said, I am the one who can resurrect. In John chapter 11, verse 24 and 25, I believe, Jesus Christ said to Master, I am the resurrection and the life. That's one area. In John chapter 14, verse 6, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And Allah said, I am the truth. So that means Jesus is Allah. That Jesus is the God of Muslims. Not only that, look what he says in verse 21. For as the Father raised up the dead, who? Father. As the Father raised up the dead, verse 21, for as the Father raised up the dead and quickens them, even so the Son quickens whom he will. Wow. Yeah. Allah said, I will resurrect the dead. And here Jesus Christ said, as the Father has power to raise up the dead, so likewise the Son can quicken anyone whom he will. Not only that, very, very I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is when the dead shall hear his voice of the Son of God, and they shall hear, or they that shall hear shall live. For as the Father has life in himself, so has he given to the Son to have life in himself, and has given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. What is mean the Son of Man? Daniel chapter, I believe chapter 9. Behold, the Son of Man is coming with the cloud of heaven, and every language and every tongue, every nation will bow down. Because when he said to the Jew, Pharisee and Sadducee, I am the Son of Man, they call him a blasphemer because they knew what Jesus meant by calling himself the Son of Man. That's what he did, his divinity, his deity was the Father. I am the Son of Man. Look what he says then. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice. What? The Quran claim that Allah will raise up, the hour will come that Allah will raise up. But here Jesus said, I will raise up, the hour will come that the dead from the grave. So here the, the Jesus of the Bible is the Allah of your, of your, of your Quran, my friend. My excuse, sir. I'll take out the Quran. I'll give you the Quran. Read it for us. Sir, I'll give you the Quran. No, 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 I'm, I'm not here to read the Quran. No, 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 sir. You said, you said that there is a Holy Spirit. There is Jesus and there is God. Which one is more powerful? Who, where? Why? My God, my God, why? That is because Allah, chapter 22, verse 6 and 7. That is because Allah, He is what? The truth. Yeah, we're monotheistic. Hold on. Jesus, you know said, I, Jesus said, I am the way in John chapter 14, the reference. Chapter 14, verse 6. I am the way, the only way. I am the truth, the only truth. I am the life, the only life. Yeah. No more in the past, Both no more in the, the present. Hold on, hold on. I'm not finished. This, that is because Allah, He is the truth. And it is he who gives life to the dead. Wow. He is here to give life to the dead. And it is he who is able to do all sin. And assuredly, the hour is coming that there is no doubt about it. And certainly, Allah will resurrect those whom are in the graves. Take my, take my Bible. No, so chapter wrong? 5. What's chapter 5. That? Sir, take out, open chapter 5. What's wrong with uh, what, what you I'm not saying. I'm not saying, I don't believe it. I don't believe it, but I believe, and I believe, and I know. If that is true, then the Jesus of my Bible is the God of the Muslims. If that is the truth, if the Quran is true, then the Quran confirmed. Chapter 5, verse 47. Allah said to Muhammad, through the angel Gabriel, let the people of the scripture, I give you the reference. Chapter, chapter 5, verse 47. Allah directly said to Muhammad, Oh Muhammad, tell the people that they can judge the people of the scripture. Who said the people of the book means the Jew and the Christian. That means the Torah, the Zabur and the angel. Let the people, let the people of the scripture judge by what Allah has revealed in the Quran or in the scripture. Or, let me speak. Let go on, speak. go on, you can't speak. So what you just said is use the Bible as evidence against the Quran. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't believe it. No, Habibi, Habibi, Habibi. No, no, no. Go on, the mic is yours. I don't, yeah, go on. It's not a scientific way to analyze things. First of all, you can use the Quran as its own. You can use the Bible as own. If you want me to criticize the Bible, it's full of contradictions, fallacies, and inaccuracies. You know the, what do you call that book? St. James or what's that book? I mean the... Uh, the King James edition. The King James version, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. the King James version. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you buy the new one, uh, in, the, in the binders, they put some notes. That okay. this verse is okay. added. Can I ask you a question? No, no, no. Yeah. Let Please, me finish. Give me my Bible. Give me my Bible. I'll give you the Bible. Thank you. Uh, that this verse is added. Okay. This verse was removed. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, so let me let me answer your question. The Bible, which is already full of contradictions. No, 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 it's not. As a method, I'll answer your question. Right. No, it's not. I'll answer your question. I'll answer your question, sir. It's not. Why did our Muslim friend, the critics, especially, they come up with the verse like that in Colossian? Uh, sorry, and I beg your pardon. In Roman. In in Roman chapter eight. Uh, a Muslim asked me this question. He says, you have changed the, the Bible. Look, in, in Romans chapter 8, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the Lord. Lord. of the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and death. That has been taken out from the Bible, from the new translation or another version of the Bible. Why? 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 Why has it been taken out? I will tell you why. Because in verse 4, the same phrase has been repeated. So they put a note under the, under the Bible that because this verse has been repeated in verse 4, has been mentioned in verse 1, I mean repeating verse 4, there's no need for us to repeat it. So that's what they believe. But still my Bible, King James Version, still have it. Therefore, I believe it and I preach it. Not only that, they came to the first John, chapter 5. I challenge every Muslim. I challenge every Muslim. In verse John, chapter 5, verse 7 and 8. They have taken out the end of the translation or end of the version, they have taken out verse 7 and 8. But still my Bible have it and I believe it and I preach it. There is therefore, there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. And there are three that bear witness on the earth, in the earth, the Spirit and the water and the blood, and these three are agreed in one. So some translation, they have taken out these two verses. Because they are the enemy of the Bible, they are the enemy of Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 7, Not everyone will say unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that do the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me that day, hold on, hold on, I'm not finished. Many will say to me that day, Lord, Lord, have you not prophesied in thy name? In thy name cast out devil, in thy name then many words of work. Then will I prophesy unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. My friend, there's a theologian. They go against the Bible. I have seen a video, a Christian video. They say there's no Trinity in the Bible. While my Bible clearly talk about the Trinity. In, John, in Matthew How chapter 28, from verse 19 and cross. 20. Go ye therefore into all the nation and baptize in them, singular. Baptize them in the name, singular. In the name, singular. In the name, singular. Of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teaching them to observe all things whatever I command. And Lord, Jesus I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. In, hold on. In Romans chapter, in Romans chapter 10 verse 14 we got the trinity again the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy god be with you all in genesis chapter 1 verse 1 and 2 we got that uh, we got the concept of the trinity we got the father elohim plural and more than one and then we got the word we got the spirit and then we got the word of god here we go my friend the word trinity is not in the bible i challenge you show me the word tawhid show me the word tawhid in your quran right now i will come back to islam i'll give my shahada can you read Surah Al-Fatihah? Yeah, yeah. Read it. Yeah, yeah. Read it. Why should, why should I read it? Read Surah Al-Fatihah. Why, why should I read it? Because But I challenge you. It's in the okay. first verse. Okay. okay. But I will not say Khair Maqsubi Ali Mawla Zalim. I will not say that. Read it in English so that can Okay. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Al-Alamin Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Hold on. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Al-Alamin Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Malik Yom Al-Din. Iyaka Na'abadu. Iyaka Nasta'in. Aidina Sirat Al-Mustaqim. Sirat Al-Azdina Al-Anta Alayhim. Stop here. Stop here. Because I don't say, I don't say Khair Maqsubi Ali Mawla Zalim. You know why? You know why? Because I do not want my enemy to be cursed. My Jesus said, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good them that hate you, and pray for them who despise you. But he clearly said, oh Allah, do not judge, do not send your curse on us the way you send on the Jew and the Christian. Do not send your curse the way you send on the Jew and the Christian. But Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 5, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good them that hate you, and pray for them who despisefully use you and persecute you. That he may and by the way, how did Muhammad pray? You're very clever. How did Muhammad, how do you pray? How do you pray? How do you pray? Give me the shahada in Arabic and in English, please. No, no, sir, Habibi, sir. Give me your shahada in, first in Arabic and then in English. Sir, you. Give me your shahada. You are an ex-Muslim. Yeah, I am. Give me your shahada in Arabic first and then in English. Thank you. Can you translate that into English? Because uh, I... I feel like I, I much not do justice. Not no, it's not that. No. Uh, I bear witness. No, it's not. It's not. But, uh, it's, but it's Allah. Thank you very much. Muhammad is his final. I bear witness oh. twice. In the Shahada, you say I bear witness twice. You say I bear witness. Yeah. So, are you born in this country, sir? No. Are you born in this country? Anybody born in this country? Are you, are you? Any, no, it's a true question. You when you give a witness in a court of law, 
Yeah. When you give a witness, yeah. don't be ignorant, you are an engineer, you know very well, you are well educated, don't be ignorant. Yeah. When you give a witness in a court of law, I've been to the Crown Court when I was accused to call ISIS terrorists and pure Islamic and the judge found me guilty and there was a witness, two police officers were witnessing that I have been said to the Muslim that ISIS, in the time of ISIS when they were occupying Mosul, I have said that ISIS, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm not finished yet, I'm not finished yet, I'm not finished yet. They were given a witness, I witnessed it, that I have said to a group of Muslims that ISIS is a terrorist and pure Islamic. So that when you say I bear witness that you have had to sin Muhammad, I have no problem with that. But I'm asking a question, sir, how did Muhammad pray? How did Muhammad pray? Uh, you're confusing. You're I'm not confusing. Yeah. Muhammad yeah. reciting. Hold on. No, no. How did yeah. Muhammad pray? I talk. Hold on, hold on. Okay, go on. You liar. I have knowledge from Allah. You're a deceiver. I you just don't want to debate you. You are debating me right now. No, no, no. I have nothing against Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Uh, but, uh, give me no answer. Talking about trying to I love you, man. I will die for you to give you 10 years, 15 years to live, Christian but I cannot offer you eternal life. Only your soul must can give you eternal life. I will die for you. I promise, I promise, I promise you as a human being, you are my brother in humanity. You have space, you have right to be in this park. And as a human being, I will die for you to give you 10 years, 15 years to live, but I cannot offer you eternal life. The only person who can if we offer it is your soul, Masih. We love Jesus, don't worry. No, you don't love Jesus. Don't die. Do you, know you don't stop, love Jesus. Stop and I can challenge you. You're going, sir. You idiot. You're liar. Thank you very much. Don't feed the Quran. Thank you very much. I'm just saying, don't much. feed the Quran to dogs. I can I can I I I challenge you. Every every go on, sir. Go on, sir. Go on, sir. Go on, sir. Uh, what's Jesus the only woman the cross. named in the Quran? If he did, it's in his book. The only, uh, thank you very much. It's a very interesting question. The only woman in the Quran is not Eve. Eve is the mother of all living. Eve in Hebrew, in Hebrew means the mother of all living. And Eve has not been mentioned, but Mary, Miriam, the mother of Jesus, she has been mentioned by name. And that's the only woman in the entire Quran is the only woman has been mentioned. And I believe by the, hold on, I'll tell you. By the revelation and by the mercy and the grace of God, Mary has been mentioned it in order to deceive a believer. Why do I say that? In my Bible, not only Deborah has been mentioned, in my Bible, if you read Matthew chapter 1, four Moabite and a Houston and a Gentile woman have been mentioned by name in the genealogy of Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ, from Joseph. Hold on. From Joseph. We got four different, I will read it for you. Four different women has been mentioned. One of them, Bathsheba, one of them, Rahab. Let's read it. Let's read it. In Matthew, that's learned, that's learned. yeah, let's learn for you that my Bible is the Bible for men and women, like, no that's different, what Matthew said. What no, did no different. Say? Look what he says, the only one Bible. Let's read it. And Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac begat Jacob, and Jacob begat Judah and his brethren, and Judah begat Pharaoh and Sarah of Satamar, and Pharaoh begat Israel, and Islam begat Aram, and Aram begat Aminadab, and Aminadab begat Nathan, and Nathan begat Salmon, and Salmon begat Boaz of Rahab, and Boaz begat Obed of Ruth, and Obed begat Jesse, and Jesse begat David the king, and David the king begat Solomon of her that had been the wife of Uriah. Four women, Bathsheba, Ruth, the Moabite, Rahab the hallows, my due respect, my Bible concluded the woman, not only the righteous woman, like Deborah, was a rebuke to men, not like other women, but let me tell you something. My Bible, look at you, you are equal as much as him. He says there's neither male nor female, there's neither Jew nor Gentile, there's no even barbarian and Scythian, for we are all one in Christ Jesus. My Bible without any disrespect, he is used in the name of women, like Bathsheba, like Ruth, like Rahab. The mic, any Muslim, show me in your Bible, in your Quran. Apart from, sir. What you just said now is I know. nothing to do. we mentioned, when we went to Mary, peace be upon her, we mentioned the full story. Make me go away. We mentioned what she went through. He will make you go away. And we mentioned how she Okay. Send you okay, let me ask you a question. Okay. Do you believe Hawa? Do you believe Hawa is the first woman God created? Hawa. Why his name is not why her name is not in the Quran? Why her name is not in the Quran? You have no power. No, no, please answer my question. Please answer my question. Why the name of Hawa, the, the wife of Adam, not in the Quran? 
Why was Mary in the Quran? Well, because that, I told you, that's a deception of Allah. Not only is that, Allah called Mary the daughter of Amran. That's right. <laughs> you tell me. You tell me. I don't know who's Amran. You tell me. Your Allah is not omni omniscient. He's not all knowing. He's calling Mary the daughter of Amran. I'm a Muslim name and I'm not a theologian. But do you know who's Bani Amran? Bani Amran. Well, Amran, I mean, Mary was what the daughter was a sister of Moses and Aaron. Yeah. Working Mary, a Mary, different, a different Mary. Moses. That Mary was being confused. Moses. That Mary has been confused. You're the Mary, confused. the mother of Jesus. God forbid. Allah is not only is doesn't know. Allah is the God of confusion. He couldn't separate Mary from the Mary, the sister of Moses and I'm and Aaron. Go the mic is yours. There's only one Moses. And there is only one Moses. Yes, definitely. One Moses. There's one Lord giver. Yeah. There's only one Moses. So there, can't be any there was only one Moses, and I'll tell you why. There was only one Moses. Let me finish. Yeah. So there can't be any you other person named Moses. Moses. There was, but there was only one Moses. God, you God chose. You don't know Moses. No, here. You don't know a I know, but we, we, we don't, we don't believe that. Hold it. Hold on. So in a, in a court. Mary, hold on. No, no. Moses. In a court, when Pilate, when Pilate challenged it by his wife and by the crowd, yeah. the finally. He wanted to win Jesus. He didn't want to crucify Jesus because his wife said, Pilate, last night I had my nightmare and had many dream about this just man have nothing to do with it. Hold on, I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished yet. No, please, Habibi, Habibi, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Pilate, from that moment, he tried to rescue Jesus from the crowd and from the Pharisee and Sadducee. Finally, he gave in. He said, I've got two criminals. And in your feast, in your tradition, in your culture, in your feast, I must release one criminal to you. Whom do you want? I got Jesus, who called Barabbas, and I got Christ, Jesus, who called Christ. Yeah. Which one do you want? They all cry out with a loud voice. The give us Baraba. Give us, priest. yeah, the high priest. Give us Baraba. Give us Baraba. Give us Baraba. Then Pilate said, What can I do with Jesus? Called the king of the Jews. The Jews who cried. They said, Crucify him. Called king of the Jews then. Yes. 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 Because he said to Pilate, he said, he said, are you the king? Yes. He said, are you the king? Yeah. yeah. He said, are you the king? He said, are you the king? Pilate said, are you the king? He said, you said that I am the king, and for this cause I came, and for this cause I will lay down my life. You said that I am the king, and I am the king of the Jew. And on the head, on the top of the head of Jesus, in three languages, in, in Hebrew, in Greek, in Latin, this is Jesus, the king of the Jew. And the Pharisees, the high priest, they read it, and they were offended. They said to Pilate, do not write, he is the king of the Jew. We have no king but Caesar. They said, I wrote what I wrote because he claimed to be the king of the Jew. I wrote what I wrote in three languages, in Hebrew. Hebrew, in Greek, in Latin, this is Jesus, the and king Aramaic of the Jew. In Aramaic, no, no, that, that was the language, the language where it was spoken, three languages. The politics, the business, and the common language was a Hebrew. So every Jew, they knew Hebrew. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, the Bible was written in Hebrew and in Greek. Not in Aramaic. That's the original text of the Bible. The, the Greek and Hebrew. The New Testament Greek and the Old Testament Hebrew. Yes, 100%. What's the, what's the earliest found manuscript? The, the, the earliest is the, the, the oldest book is the book of Job. Book of Job. Yes. The oldest book. Aramaic or Hebrew? I, I have no knowledge about that. I don't know. Probably, Aram, probably Hebrew. Yeah. So do, do, hold on, don't do not do not, no no. Do you know the Hebrew the Hebrew language right now? Habibi, Habibi. Do you know the Hebrew language? You ask me a question, you know allow me to answer your question. Good. The Hebrew language, Habibi, the Hebrew language they speak today is not the same Hebrew which is my Bible was written. Of course. Thank you very much. So the Arabic language you have today is not the same Arabic language. No, it's not the same. No, don't lie. No, don't lie. No, don't lie. Don't lie. I know very well. The language you speak today is far, far more modern than the language in the time of Muhammad was spoken. Language is dynamic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now you're correcting yourself. So the Hebrew language, the Jew, the Jew, they were having, they were having their own dialect, the Hebrew language, which they could read and they could write. That's why they saw on the top of Jesus in Hebrew, this is Jesus, the king of the Jew. And the high priests were offended. The people were offended and they went to Pilate. They said, take out this uh, sign. You have written Jesus, the king of the Jew. And Pilate responded, but he claimed to be the king of the Jew. I wrote what I wrote. I'm not going to take it out. Not only in Hebrew, in Greek and in Latin, in three languages. 
were spoken in that time, in the time of Pilate and Jesus, in three languages. And he, that is a confirmation that Jesus was crucified. But in Quran chapter 4, verse 157, clearly Allah said, they neither kill him nor crucify him. But Allah changed the image of Jesus. He looked like Jesus. God bless you. God changed the image. Yeah, God changed the image of Jesus and he put your image and put in the image of Jesus and you were crucified and Jesus was taken up to heaven by the mercy and the grace of Allah. What a nonsense. Allah is the deceiver. Thank you very much. One of the names is Al-Makir means the deceiver. That means Allah deceiving one two point billion, two point five billion Christian who believe in the crucifixion have never taken place. The mic is yours. Yeah. Why do Allah deceive 2.5 billion Christians to believe in the crucifixion have never taken place? So I'll give you the reference. I'll give you the reference. If, I, if you think I'm lying, I'm not lying. I'll give you the reference. No. In Quran, let, let me read it for you. In Quran chapter 4, verse 157. And for their saying, indeed, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. But Anasa was made. Listen carefully. But Anasa was made. I'm not finished. But Anasa was made to resemble him to them. That means the crucifixion take place. Yeah. That's your Quran. They crucified the wrong, the, the wrong person. That means Allah is the deceiver. This even 2.5 billion Christian who believe in a crucifixion never take place. Exactly. The mic is yours. You came to your own conclusion. No, it's not my, that's exactly, that's what he said. Look, well, look. Let me, let me speak. Let and they did speak. not, listen, uh, hold on. And they did not kill him. Hold on. They did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. But Anasa, but Anasa was made to resemble him to them. And indeed, those who defer over it in doubt, Allah clearly said we are in doubt. He could, hold on. Hold on, sister, child of God. He said, those who believe that they have crucified the Messiah, they are in doubt. But Allah confirmed that crucifixion take place. Allah confirmed that someone else was crucified in the state of Jesus Christ. Someone resembled, looked like Jesus, and in his world at first, an innocent man died in the name, in the name of Jesus. That means Allah is not merciful, is not gracious. He is not Ar-Rahman, he is not Ar-Rahim. Because an innocent soul will die in the state of Jesus. You're just laughing. But that will strike your heart because Allah is not Ar-Rahman, Allah is not Ar-Rahim. Because an innocent man will take the place of Jesus brutally, nailed to the cross and buried in the heart of the earth. And Jesus miraculously will take him up to heaven by Allah. So your Allah is a marker. That is true that Allah is the deceiver because Allah is deceiving, two point, deceiving me right now. That Allah deceiving me that I believe in the crucifixion. But he clearly said they are in doubt. They are in doubt. Allah correcting himself, we are in doubt. Send him to hospital. Thank you very much. So here we go, my friend. They neither kill him nor crucify him, but it was appeared to them. God changed the image, the likeness of Jesus, and put it on someone else, and an innocent man died in state of Jesus. That's chapter 4, the Quran. That take out your Quran, read it to me. The same chapter. Chapter 4, verse 157. Read it. I'll take it out in your Quran. Read your Quran. Take it out and read it, please. Please take it out and read it. I'm not attacking the Quran. I love you. Who's got this kind of love? Agape love, unconditional love. I don't want you to go to hell. Don't you know if you get married? If you get married, God bless you. If you get married with a husband, Muslim husband, your husband can beat you. He can beat you. Your husband can beat you. Your husband can get two wives. Your husband can get three wives. Your husband can get four wives. Thank you very much. Will you marry a man? Will you marry a man to get for wife? No, it's not true. We don't. Will you marry a man who get for wife? Okay, let me answer you. Let me answer you. Will you marry a man who get for wife? Surah Al-Nisa, about Surah Al-Nisa, chapter 34. Will you, will you get for wife? Surah Al-Nisa, chapter 34. Will you, will you get for wife? Will you get for wife? Will you get for Habibi? Will you get for wife? In worse, will you get for wife? No, yes, not thank you. Why is it? Why is it? In this time, you, you can be, be, be take for wife, but uh, your wife say, No, I your Quran, your Quran is for all time. No, yeah, it trust me. That's why you follow, that's why you follow the no, footsteps of no, Muhammad. No, it's you not follow the foot, you imitate Muhammad. Muhammad you imitate Muhammad. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, you imitate Muhammad, but we imitate Jesus Christ. Oh, we imitate Jesus Christ. In character, in character, we want to be like Jesus. But in character, and indeed, you want to be like Muhammad.